With a winter weather advisory now in effect, residents from Bering through Skykomish are concerned about the snow along with the potential for flash flooding and debris flows in the areas that were burned by the Bolt Creek fire. Fox 13's Jennifer Dowling is tracking what we all need to know at this point. Jennifer? Good evening. Well, folks here are pretty rattled. Uh, there was a lot going on in this area. We spoke to a woman from Grotto earlier today, and she was concerned about the flash flood watch that expired earlier this afternoon. And then she said later on in the afternoon, she learned that she was in an area covered by the winter weather advisory. She said that was on top of the flooding concerns that spilled into overnight and into this morning. Last night, it was a half an inch of rain in 30 minutes. Katie Sorlene endured a terrifying thunderstorm in Grotto overnight that shook her home and brought trees and rocks crashing down around Clinger Peak and Grotto Mountain. Hearing the trees come down, the rocks come down, you hear one tree pop and fall, and usually that's all you hear. It's like one tree fell, but now it's like one tree falls, and then a whole bunch more stuff falls down with it. She's very worried about rain and snow bringing debris slides off the mountain. Because everything is compromised. I mean, it's, it's not like there's a healthy grove of trees that's going to stop a debris flow. Her home sits very close to a set of power lines. Where fire crews work to stop the Bolt Creek fire from burning down the community. I, it's scary. It's really scary. She showed us the blackened soot with high potential for erosion. It was ferns and underbrush Oregon grape. This is what it would normally look like ferns and green and all year long. But with the rain and the snow, it's a huge concern about the debris coming down and there's basically nothing to stop it. The National Weather Service has been monitoring the situation. You know, residents should have an emergency evacuation plan um, in response to a weather service alert. Of particular concern are drainages that flow into the Skykomish and Beckler rivers. A lot of the um, drainages that we were concerned about don't have names. Um, and so, but they all flow into um, the main stem of the river. And depending on, you know, what slides down in the storm and the snow and what comes down with it, it might wipe out quite a bit of it. And Katie showed us smaller areas of erosion, clumps of debris already flowing downhill. Took the path of least resistance, basically, and made it a new path. And that's what they're telling us is that it probably will happen on a bigger scale. She plans to attend a King County Storm Preparedness meeting at the fire station in Bering, hoping to learn more about how to protect her family. Yeah, the thunder and the lightning last night was right over us. Um, and then I guess now we're in a winter storm advisory until tomorrow night due to the amount of snow that's going to fall above 4,000 feet. And so it continues to pour buckets out here. And meantime, residents say they will be attending that meeting. That's taking place from 5 p.m. tonight at the Bering Fire Station until 7 p.m. Reporting live in Gold Bar, Jennifer Dowling, Fox 13 News.